Okay. Guess we can go. All right. Hey, everybody, and welcome to our show about contemporary art, where we our talk discuss? show our, our talk show our, about contemporary art, where we discuss things that are made to be discussed. Made to be made to be discussed. I'm Chris Kerr, and I'm Jay Myers, and welcome. What we're gonna do is talk about four different. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I have to. Do uh, one of these. Yeah, I do. I have to drink from a straw because I get the hiccups if I drink out of a bottle. Because you're a girl. Well, no. Just... Um, we're gonna talk about four different contemporary artists' works and um, try and keep it positive and upbeat and clue you in as to what we what we look at and what we like. What flavor is this? First up, that's a uh, white cheddar pirate's booty. It's good. First up is a painting by Mike Sweeney. Mike Sweeney is from. Canada, somewhere in Canada, um, but he lives in Barcelona, Spain now. Um, I'm going to start off by saying, I don't I like, like this, this one. That's what I'm going to start off saying. I like this. I don't one. like this painting at all. No, I'll tell I you don't. why. There's just too much stuff going on. It's like when my dad took us in our 1984 Ford Escort to Dollywood, we would get to go to the general store and pick out one piece of candy. This reminds me of a huge candy store with all kinds of sweets and treats and swizzle sticks. And my dad's saying, you can have one thing. Because I can't look no, at all this okay. at the same time. Well, no, no. I can look at one no, little hold, thing. Hold that thought. you got to give me a chance to talk. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. I'm saying that this is like a candy store. And you can have every piece of candy you want in it. You can have all of this. You can have it all. Like, why Why would you not? Okay, that's that's your opinion. Yeah. I, re I respect your opinion. The other thing I don't like is um, he doesn't tell us where to, um, where I should be led. So you have these huge... Tennis, tennis, sneakers, Converse All Stars, right. and you have the blue nose, and no, it's a, a variety, a, a plethora, a cornucopia of textures and, right. and lights I, and for the and eye. So, so, what's wrong? There's nothing wrong with that at all. I don't all. feel like he made any decisions. Yeah, he made a lot of Mike decisions. Mike Sweeney is classic for not making any decisions. He's like, here, no, okay, that's choose your own adventure. No. Okay, so yeah, exactly. Summary, choose your own. You can you can look at this thing and you can decide what again, you like about. We're I'm just saying, talking I like this about one. things like, that are meant to be. Discussed. Well, this one, there's not a lot of discussion because right. this is awesome. There's a lot going on. Yeah. And you can I'll, think about that in your head. I'll be sure and tell Mike Sweeney that um, you like his work. I do like the way that he put a fern um, in the composition right about yeah. here. That's See? kind of a good idea. Exactly. Okay, next up, Abel Brown from New York City. I like this one. Um, I, I do like not this like this one. one. I, I do not like this one because um, the first four letters of painting are pain. And I'm not sensing pain, um, like they're about to fight. I'm sensing sexual tension. See, and then the last four like letters of painting are ting, like ting. This is good. No, not swing, ting. Oh. Yeah, ting. Um, ting. The other thing is, what is the blue thing? Is this um, a volcano? Is this? What do you think it is? I think this is a river. Waterfall. Or asphalt. Road. Yes. Whatever it is, it's leading you somewhere. Once it could again, be, it could be a road could be a river, but it's taking you somewhere. Once again, don't be cryptic. It's a, it's don't a, be cryptic with your work. Okay. Tell people what you're making and show people what you're making. It's, There's no shading. There's no atmospheric perspective. There doesn't need to be if shading. If it's a road, like, have some, like, a stop sign in the back saying, hey, stop. Your eyes have gone too far and you need to come back to the front of the road. Well, no. This one, this it's a good painting. I don't like animal abuse. Okay. it's not. Well, there's nothing abusive like, about this. Um, two different species of animals trying to have sex with each other, like a snake and a wolf. It's just not... You know, it's not right. And there's nothing sexual about it. It's a snake and a wolf, and they're just talking. I'm allowed, I'm allowed to own my feelings. That's what well, I'm doing. You might want to not bring those out on the talk show, but that's okay. It's good. So, so in summary, I did not like the first painting, and I do not like the second painting. In summary, I, I like the around. first one, and I like the second one. You know, not every, not all art has to be about pain. Okay. I'll be sure and tell Abel Brown that you like his work. And again, what's going on with the tail? Like, is, is it, like, are the hairs dropping out so, of the tail? It's kind of electrifying. Like, whoa. Well, it, makes me, it, okay. kind of, it makes me feel like this. Like just. That's funny because he's standing in a river. So if he's. Why is there an extension cord there? It, well, I don't think it's an extension. I mean, I'm not really sure what's going on with the tail. Okay. But I right. like it. Okay, I am sure summary, that I like it. In summary, you like it. I don't. Next up is I Lane. I love this one. I like Next this one. Next up is Lane Haygood. Um, it's a painting. It's a painting within a painting, which is um, actually a pretty interesting trick. Um, the painting is by Edvard Munch, and it's called The Scream. And it's obviously like a um, Etsy coffee mug that somebody's holding. The thing I don't like 
is there's a severed hand and there's a pain filled wall. Um, sure, the first four letters in painting are pain, but. Mm -hmm. I like this one in the coffee mug. Who who did that Van Gogh or who did that drawing the original? Van Gogh. No, Edvard Munch. Edvard Munch. 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 I like this one because it says, "Here's a piece of classic paint. Uh, here's a piece of classic painting, We're and outside. here's something contemporary." You hear those birds? And you put the two together, and you have just something classically contemporary. Wow. Let me wipe my tears a little bit. That was amazing. It is. Thank you for that commentary. I like this one. Um, the other problem I have is the sky has never looked like that. So again, like the last painting, you got this blue, but really there would be smog in the background and no. um, a school bus, um, a billboard. It's always so like, negative. There wouldn't be smog always. There's there's a lot of country that's not that's not smoggy. I'll give you that actually. In summary, I don't like this painting, but I'm tending like towards liking it a little more than the first two paintings. See, I would so. I would disagree with you. All three of them are pretty good. They all say something. They all say, hey, I'm, we're saying something. Okay, next time I get on my horse and put on my cowboy boots and ride to Houston, Texas, where Lane Haygood lives, yeah. I'll be sure and let him know that you like this painting. This is a fellow uh, Texas? Texas? Yes, this Tex is a Texan man Texan. named Lane Haygood from Houston. Lane or Elaine? Lane. Lane. Yeah. It's like Elaine, but with no E. Yeah. Okay, our fourth painting is by Casey William Farnham, as he goes by on um, Tumblr. But I think in real life, you can call him Casey Farnham. It's just sometimes um, painters tend to do like the three. What's he go by? What's his three word, name? like um, John Wayne Gacy. What's or... his middle name? What's the William. Third? William. Casey William Farnham. So, like. I will say. That I like this one too. Okay, why? It's not enough. Okay, here, here's a word. Like, I don't know if you've ever been to a high school art critique. It's not enough to say, I like this, or I like the red going on, or the blue going on, or the orange spots. You gotta, you gotta back it up with some meaning. Okay, I like this blue one because it looks really neat next to the screen. Okay, so you like basically that a cat is trapped in quicksand. Uh, I'm pretty or sure. Or a ferret. No, it's, uh, it looks. Wildebeest. Hold on, let me, I'll tell you my interpretation. It's a cat jumping from a rock <laughs> with, with lifesavers on the back of its neck. Oh, I like that. Yeah, there are lifesavers. I like it. In this area. I also think that the holes are really, or the, the orange dots are really kind of what brings the whole thing home. Because you're not quite sure what's going on. Did that cat just get shot? Um... I don't like that the cat has mumps or measles, number one. Number two, I don't like that the rock has no shading. If it's a rock, give me some shading. You know, it's, painting is about form and light. Shading? Where's the sh shadow underneath the rock? Every rock displaces light, so there'd be a shadow I think underneath. if you don't put shading in your art, I think you're basically telling the people that you're not shady as a person. Like... Well, like you're a shady person? Yeah. So if you leave it out... You're not shady. I will tell you from experience, Casey William Farnham is a shady man. So, in summary, I don't like animal abuse. I don't like I don't like cats animal with abuse. diseases. You're, you're going about this wrong. I don't like. I don't like ferrets with diseases stuck in quicksand. Like he's help okay. him. Okay. Somebody, somebody help this guy out. That's what I'm saying. Well, it's. You're, you're always bring you're always focused on the negative. What do you mean animal abuse? There's no animal abuse in any of these in these paintings. Well, Casey Farnham is from the only New York abuse City. That's, that's involved in these paintings Originally is you from abusing the artist. Minnesota, so I do like the way that that could be a lake. That could be a great lake that the cat is crawling out of. For all I know, and maybe a little island. Because Minnesota is the land of lakes. See, look at this. We're interpreting it 17 different ways. That, my friend, is, is, is what the show is all about. Discussing things that, that create discussion. And that's this is one of that's them. That's our show. Thank you for watching. Thank you. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. What do you think? Well, <laughs> I like it. I don't uh, love I, it. I like this one. I think it was good. I like this one. Yeah, this actually was really good.